Hey, what is up all the peeps? Welcome back to a Bloody Viking Gaming. Bloody here, back again with a new game called Boundless. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoy this new game, this new uh, adventure we're checking out. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subbed yet, make sure you drop a sub. It really helps me out and I appreciate the support. Make sure, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at a Bloody Viking. And if you want to catch a stream sometime, make sure you catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash a Bloody Viking. Viking. Jumping right into it, this is a game that has kind of been called something like a, um, a Minecraft 2. I don't know if I would say it's a Minecraft 2, but there are a lot of similarities. Uh, truth be told, I spent about an hour recording a video for you guys earlier and realized not only was my sound all messed up, but there was no mic. <laughs> so it was a major fail on my part, and instead of going back, I'm just going to start you guys here. So, first of all, what I did do for you peeps is we did set up a little bit of a home base here, okay? It's kind of over there. Let's jump in this water here. Um, and we are going to turn around. There it is on the side of this mountain. I picked this area because there's a lot of trees for building. Um, there's m num a number of different resources. And also, you can see right up here, um, there is a cave. And we're going to be exploring in there later on. Um, so this game has a lot of similarities to Minecraft. For example, there is this, you know, unit based uh, gathering and building system. There are, um, oops, that's the wrong button. This is the right one. Uh, different tools you can make. We have a wooden shovel, a wooden axe, a wooden hammer, uh, and they all do different things and gather different things at different rates. I'm not sure what this totem is yet. Um, we gathered some sand, we gathered some silty soil, we gathered some metamorphic rock, um, and so you gather all of these things and you make things with them. We have hand crafting, so uh, we can craft these things with the resources that we have, lustrous wood, timber, a slab, timber step, timber wall. I believe the lustrous wood is the type of wood, kind of like, you know, pine or redwood, like from Minecraft. Um, need items. This is talking about stuff that we have, like, part of what we need to build it. So for a crafting table, we have almost enough timber, but not quite. Um, for a warp conduit, we have enough rock, but we don't have any, t or we don't have enough timber. So that's kind of how that works. Um, you use your scroll wheel to select different like sets of tools. So on this tool we have a beacon plotter um, and our, oh it's not gonna select that because our beacon plotter is two-handed. Uh, we have a wooden shovel and a wooden ax and we also have a wooden hammer and silty soil. Right click is your right hand and left click is your left hand and with our um, you know left hand, I'll place this block over here because we're gonna pick it up again. Uh, you can place blocks just like you would in Minecraft. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we can gather this up again with our shovel exactly like we would in Minecraft. So that's kind of the gist, really. Um, there's also animals. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, peeps. I am still getting over that cold I told you about a couple days ago. Um, there are different animals. Uh, let's see if we can find any of the animals that I've seen. I have died a couple times. Uh, once to me falling, and also once by this animal that I really couldn't describe to you what it was. It was like kind of like a skunk, but not really a skunk. Oh, look at that amazingness down there. That is so cool. Um, animals, 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 any animals anywhere? Mm, not really. So at any rate, we use these tools to gather different things. Now, what I think we're going to do is... um. <clears throat> oh, and the tools do have durability. That's something very important to know. What I think we are going to do is we're going to kind of go cave diving a little bit. Um, for a couple reasons. First of all, I want to see what kind of resources we can get with the tools that we have. I also kind of want to see what happens when we die, what happens to our stuff, and also... Like, where do we go? You know what I mean? <laughs> Not like an existential question, like a game question. So, we have our little home base here. You need a beacon. You gotta put down a beacon in order to make it so that you can actually build a base. That's a big part of it, too. Like, I couldn't put down my crafting bench until this beacon was down. Uh, warp conduit? I have no idea. I honestly have no idea what this does. <laughs> so, that's gonna be something that we definitely are gonna have to take a look at. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to look around a little bit. I'm going to see how best 
it is uh, to get down into this cave. And then I will bring you back once I'm down in there. So I'll see you back in a flash. And we are back, peeps. All right, so we made our way down from that little opening right there. It's not too, too far, but as I came down, I did try to test out some of these materials. So this pebbly looking thing is gravel, and we can dig this out with our shovel, and it works a little bit differently than Minecraft in that the whole cylinder doesn't fall down when you take out a block. This right here is um, the metamorphic rock, I believe. Let's gather this and double check. Oh, this is sedimentary. Okay, so it's a little different. Gathering, uh, well, I gather from the diversity in resources that the crafting menu has is going to be crazy. I mean, it's got to be with all the stuff that you can choose from to, to craft with. Let's get a little bit more of this. Um, I think this is a different rock, but it might be another sedimentary. The one above it is called igneous rock. So that's another type of element, you know, another um, usable substance, igneous. And then the other type was metamorphic, right? We already talked about that. All right, now I haven't really explored it all yet. There is lava, apparent, I mean, I guess so. It looks like lava. Let's just jump down here and see what happens. And don't, please don't fall in the lava. Okay, so we've got some other stuff in here. We've got what looks like to be another type of rock. We've got something right here. I'm not sure if we can actually gather this. It doesn't seem like it. We're not doing any damage with our shovel, but the durability on our shovel is going down. What about like our ax? You got anything for me, ax? I'm going to assume that this is, um, an ore of some kind? What about like this? Like a fu Whoa, the blue dust! That's kinda cool. What do you got for me, Axe? Anything? Doesn't seem like it. All right, so it seems like we must need some better type of tool. You can also see there on the left-hand side where it said Trainer Miner. Um, that is, you, you gain experience with that. Run a jump! Oh. You gain experience with that the more you collect um, resources. And when you collect resources, you level up and it allows you, I think, to place more, whoa, okay. More like bases and um, I assume it'll allow us to craft different things. We also get coins from it. I don't know what they're used for yet. I haven't really gotten that far. So make sure, guys, also, if you have information that you can share with me, um, make sure you throw it down in the comments. Let me know. Also, we need a name for this guy. We need a name for our character. So let me know what you think we should name him. I I, I hadn't really thought about it much, but, but I love his hair. And you can actually go into your menu and um, and change what he looks like, but I haven't, I haven't been yet. Okay, so we can't really make much of anything else. know what else to do down here to be honest with you um that was kind of a short trip peeps but i think i'm gonna head back up and try to gain a little bit more information at our crafting bench to see what else we can make because it would be it would be really good if we could have some tools that would allow us to do more you know um that would allow us to gather some different materials so i'm gonna get back up here i'm gonna go to our crafting bench and i'll bring you back when i get back up there And we are back, peeps. Just, I just wanted to show you really quick how beautiful this game is. I mean, it's got this awesome snowfall. The the graphics of like <clears throat> the ground and the trees just look so cool. But look at the sky. Just look at the sky. The planet is rotating. It's like coming into view. It looks so beautiful. The moon is out. It, there's almost like an aurora borealis. I mean, it, <laughs> holy cow! This game is so cool. I cannot wait to play more of it. Uh, and another note, <clears throat> I was just gathering up some resources. We are going to head back to base now. Um, there's our little home. Uh, a couple of things. So I did gather some wood, and I also did learn that you can gather sap from trees as well, not to mention the leaves, which I believe I showed you earlier. I also want to show you in the crafting bench, this, yeah, this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we back up a little bit? There we go. <laughs> In the crafting bench, there's a bar down here that says crafting table ingredients. Now, originally, let me bring these out of here for a second. Uh, 
originally when I opened up my crafting table, I went to the recipes and there was nothing here and I was really confused. And there was nothing in the queue which I guess would be the crafting queue, but again, there was nothing here. So I was very, very confused. So I went back here, I was looking, and I saw that I had some things in my inventory and also crafting table ingredients, this list here. So I just took a little bit of everything that I had and I shoved it into the crafting table ingredients here. And what that did is you can see up here, there's now 27 recipes of stuff we can do. So if we go in, go in there, you can see there's under can craft, there's a bunch of um, igneous rock recipes we can do, uh, building materials, lustrous wood stuff, um, <clears throat> metamorphic rock stuff, sedimentary stuff, some sticks, crafting table, which we have, wood arrow, which is a new thing. Um... What do we need for that? Sticks, okay. And also a workbench, okay. Now what do we got here? Uh, Ancient tech fragment, okay, we have not found one of those yet. Any base metal, which I assume we would get from the ore that we have seen during our exploration. Uh, any timber, which we can make up. And duration, I'm guessing it means it would take this long to make that thing. Um, <clears throat> But I don't know how to make a bow yet. I assume we need some kind of, like, filament, some kind of string for that. Um, but at any rate, so that is how the crafting table works. So that is pretty cool. So let's see. What is our overview for the video? Okay, so, so far, we put together our little house, which I kind of had done before, but you weren't here for that because I was an idiot. Um, our warp conduit, which we really don't know what that does. I assume it says warp conduit and looks like that as well as the beacon, um, because they haven't finished making it yet. The crafting, you need to actually put items in as a recipe, and we need to find more elements, more stuff to make different tools. Um, that is pretty much the summary of kind of how to play the game. I am really looking forward to exploring more, to gathering different resources. In the preview of the game, it also says, um, feel free to, or not really feel free, but explore new worlds. So I am really excited to see how are we going to get to those different worlds? What kind of tools do we need for them? Um, you know, how do we get there? Um, there's just really, really cool stuff going on in this game. I am super excited about it. If you have tips and tricks, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have, um, any kind of information you can give me, leave it down in the comments. I want to hear what you guys think about this game and what you're interested in seeing. Maybe you've got a building idea you want us to do. Maybe there's a specific place that you want us to explore. Let me know. Make this channel, our channel, be a part of it, be an active part of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's probably a short video, but we will definitely do more with this. I just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys on this game thanks again for watching and spending time with me i really appreciate your time if you haven't subbed yet and you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a sub make sure you drop a like if you like the video make sure you leave a comment below if you haven't followed me on twitter yet make sure you check me out on twitter at a bloody viking and if you want to catch a stream sometime make sure you check me out on twitch twitch.tv forward slash a bloody viking i hope you're all having great mornings great days great afternoons whatever it is for you i love y'all and I will see you in the next one.